Hi, welcome to NCRT Class 7 Fine Arts Series. We are now going to see Chapter 2, Arts of Indus Valley Civilization. This is a part of the initiative from Vaisha AS channel. We are expecting good response and support from you. Please do support us and if the response is good, we will be continuing it as free series or else we will be making it as a paid one. Now let's get on to the video. Uh, we are going to see the arts that were available in the Indus Valley Civilization. Uh, Indus Valley Civilization uh, was, uh, was happened along the Indus River. That is why it was given the name as Indus Valley Civilization. Uh, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are the major sites. Harappa is in north and Mohenjo-daro is in south of the uh, Harappa uh, site. And these are named as Harappan sites since... Uh, Harappan civilization also because Harappa was the first place to be identified with this and um, these Harappa and Mohanjadara now lie in Pakistan and uh, the, there are uh, various types of art forms found in different uh, sites um, the major were uh, in sculptures, seals, the pottery, jewelry, jewelry made of terracotta and the terracotta figures these were the dominant, uh, these were the types of uh, art forms found during this period. And the houses, markets, storage facilities, all the things were arranged in a grid like pattern, which was used in an urban civilization. This is an urban civilization. They, they developed a very good drainage system also. They, uh, the important sites of Harappan civilization in India is Lothal and Dolavira in Gujarat, Rakigarki in Haryana, Ropar in Punjab, Kalibangan in Rajasthan. The types of art that are found in Indus Valley civilization are the stone statue, which is of three dimensional representation of the stones using tones, uh, bronze statues, terracotta jewelry and terracotta toys, everything was found, seals, pottery, beads and ornaments, these were found in the Indus Valley Civilization. First we are going to see about the stone statues. The two main uh, st stone statues found here is the torso in red sandstone and a bearded man in soapstone. These were the two um, important uh, art forms. We are going to see them in detail. We will see about this bearded man statue in detail. Uh, how it has been designed. Uh, this has this bearded man uh, is assumed as a priest and he is draped under a shawl which is comes under the right arm and covers on the left shoulder and this has a trifoil pattern all over the shawl. This shawl has trifoil patterns and his eyes are little elongated, elongated eyes and that suggests in a meditative pose. And the nose is of medium size and it is well formed. The mouth is also of average size. And the mouse jack is also there. The mouse jack is closely cut and the beard is uh, shown clearly. And his ears have holes also. That, that gap is also there. It is also depicted clearly. The hair is also parted in the middle. Hair is parted in the middle. There, there is a partition and a plain over fillet is passed round. This is that fillet. It is passed round the head and an armlet is worn on his right hand and holes around his neck suggest it might be dear for likeness. Now we are going to see about a torso in red sandstone. The word torso means nothing but the body excluding the head, neck and the limbs. That is the torso. So in this uh, figure, uh, there are socket holes for the attachment of uh, 
head and arms this this is the socket holes the for uh, arms and head these can be attached that means uh, arms and head were baked separately they were might have been made separately and attached maybe we didn't get, got that attachment the frontal posture the frontal posture this is the frontal posture it has been very uh, very neatly done and the um, abdomen is slightly prominent like it looks like slightly uh, like it has a belly something it, it, it shows that it it has been consciously made this is all about it now let's see about bronze casting which means bronze cast chat crews how they made it uh, first uh, the bronze cast bronze was known to indian valley civilization people but it was not known prior to that we as we saw in the previous video we saw about the prehistoric times they these bronze was not known to those people and uh, these harappans used bronze ca bronze widely and uh, bronze cache uh, casting was used wide widely by the harappans harappans is the places um, where the excavation of indus valley was found we call them as harappans there uh, it is made of lost wax technique the, the bronze cast bronze statues were made of uh, blocks lost wax technique which means the wa the wax uh, they made a statue what they want of wax and then they covered it with the clay coating and allowed it to dry and after that the uh, wax was heated and it was drained out drained out through a hole and it was drained out and in that tiny hole the molten metal was poured and it was pulled and the clay cover was completely removed this is how the bronze statues were made during that time this is technique is called lost wax technique This is one of the picture of the uh, bronze cast uh, buffalo. Look at it. Head is up, held upright. It is uh, done in a very artistic manner. And bronze casting was been popular in major centers of Indus Valley civilization. Most of the centers had bronze casting statues or bronze casting things. As you know, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are the major centers. And that those lie in Pakistan now. Uh, in India, we have Lothal and Kalibangan. We also found uh, bronze cast uh, statues in uh, Lothal and Kalibangal, copper dog, and a bird of and a bird. And uh, in Kalibangal, a bull is a bull was found. These are were also of very artistic nature. This doesn't uh, differ anywhere on the artistic way. Uh, the metal casting uh, appears to be a continuous tradition which is followed even now in some places. The next important one is the statue of a dancing girl. It is a 4 inch high and it is found in, uh, it was first found in Mohanjadaro. Uh, this, uh, ha she has a long hair which is tied in a bun and her left hand is full of bangles and it is in a gesture of dancing gesture one hand right hand is in her hip and left hand is in dancing gesture indian traditional dancing gesture she had one armlet in the right hand and one bangle in the right one armlet and one bangle in her right hand left hand is full of bangle and she also has a necklace since this a position is uh, as uh, she the position she stands is in a dancing pose. Uh, this uh, statue is named as Dancing Girl Statue. She has large eyes and a flat nose. The next uh, art form we are going to see is a terracotta. Uh, in this terracotta, human form was very crude than. Um, 
the other uh, forms which we saw earlier it was very precise and the, it was very accurate but it, this way is very crude and uh, uh, the site gujarat sites uh, lothal and kalibangan in rajasthan had um, some good uh, realistic ones and the most important one was the mother goddess which we'll be seeing in the next slide in detail and uh, the in terracotta few figurines of uh, was important other than mother goddess is bearded males with coiled hair uh, their position upright rigidly and legs slightly apart and parallel side parallel to the sides of the body this is a repetition was happened same way so maybe he might be considered as a deity and a terracotta mask was also found and toy carts with wheels whistles rattles these were also found in the uh, different uh, excavations in this valley we will see about the mother goddess it is one important figurine of the terracotta it is uh, usually crude this is similar ones were found at different sites and the, these were very crude that is like there is no precise things that is like not pre precise like uh, the ones we saw in stone statues or the bronze casting uh, female figures uh, the mother goddess uh, standing female figures are adorned with necklaces hanging over uh, prominent breast this is the necklace uh, and uh, wearing a loin cloth and a griddle the fan shaped headdress this is the one the fan shaped headdress and the cup like projection on each side is a distinct decorative feature this is one is this one is unique one which we don't see it now and the pellet eyes this eyes and the beaked nose are very crude and the mouth is just a slit is been indicated in the mouth like it is like it is not very precise like others so it is a like very crude and rough figure since terracotta jewelry might have been uh, sorry terracotta uh, statues uh, might have been done by hand so it is very crude maybe and thank you for watching the video please do like share and uh, comment in the comment section about your feedback subscribe to our channels and check out the other playlist which is available in the vaish ies channel um, do whatsapp to the given number for the details on the upsc test series thank you